What is up everyone? It's uh, been a minute. Jake and I are out uh, shed hunting today. We're in the area on the same mountain as uh, the one I killed my bull on this year. Anyways, as you can see there, we got rubs there, all on these little wispy trees here. We got uh, rubs everywhere, elk rubs. But uh, elk haven't really shed yet. It's a little early. It's uh, not even February yet. But potential's there for uh, some deer sheds and last year's sheds and older sheds. So uh, we're gonna go walk through some timber, pick up some antler, and uh, kick some butt. Uh, already seen a good amount of uh, animals today. Seen several elk and then uh, potentially some shed bucks. Um, don't know how big they were before they shed, but um, they look pretty big bodied, so. We're gonna go in here, find some sheds, and make a good video for you guys. So stay tuned, you're about to see some good stuff. All right guys, so check out this area I'm in. And remember it, because you're going to find sheds in areas like this. A little bit of foliage, but mostly needle bearing ground. And then a five point shed right over there. So, I'll zoom in for you guys. See it right there? Bam. Let's walk over to it. Take a look. Looks like a decent little Reghorn five point. Last year's brown, it looks like. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah. It's got some funky stuff going on. Oh, side by side. Hey, Jake, it's a side by side. Side by side? Yep, both antlers ran right next to each other. All right guys, so I've never had this, well, I've had this happen one other time with elk sheds. This is unreal. Um, here, I'll turn the camera so you guys can see. All right. Bam and bam. I didn't see the other one because the log was covering it up. <laughs> Man, this hasn't happened in forever. Since the first year I shed hunted, I haven't found a side-by-side -side set. Looks like a Funky four point, he's got crown on one side, he's cool bull, definitely last year's brown. I'm pumped about this. I gotta get some pictures and everything. Jake's probably gonna wanna come over here, so I'll get back at you in a second with the pickup. Later guys. All right guys, Jake is over here, he's taking a gander at him. I didn't see that as a side, but you see the second one yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw it right then too. I was like, oh crap. Oh yeah. Last year your brownies. Don't pick them up or I'll slap you. <laughs> what do no, you think, Jeremy? Yeah, it's a set. Oh, how, how is it not a set? How is it not? Guys, is this a set? Jimmy, you're that's, lucky. That's that's as close as the other set that I found side by side back in the day. It was about that big too. What are you talking about? Those are fresh, Sonny. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's that's definitely pretty white. That's yeah. pretty white, but that's last year's. It's got to be. It's chewed on a little bit. Is it's it? got the discoloration at the top a little bit. Oh yeah, it's chewed on a little bit. He's got on stuff on right it. There. Yeah, I'm gonna say last year's. That would be an early shed for an elk, but no, the other one's green. This one's. I mean, not green, sorry, the brown, but the base. You can always tell from the base. Anyways, and it's early, 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 early yeah. for elk. Anyways, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Jake, and he's gonna do a little vidya, and uh, show me picking up these little sheddy sheds. So, here, step back over there a little bit. All right, guys, here it is, here's the pickup. Oh, one Mississippi. Got a funky little kicker there. Dandy. 
Dan Lee Rosie. Oh, well, he's only a four on that yeah, side. Yeah, he's only a four. He's basically barely a five if you count that, and four on this side, but he's a side by side. So, except probably like that. Just a little guy, but heck, sheds, sheds in the hand are better than sheds on the ground. I'll take them. Let's go find some more, fellas. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ain't going nowhere. Alright, guys, let's go find some more. Alright, guys, so. Split up, Jake's going down across that way where he came from, and I'm just gonna keep on, keep it on along this right side of the drainage. There's a meadow down the bottom that Jake was kind of hanging out in, and now he's glassing my lines. Get on, get it, fella. <laughs> Find your own sheds. Anyways, we'll get back at it, and I'll uh, probably pick up at least 10 more, and he might pick up one or two. Actually, Jake's known for finding deadheads, so that's usually how it goes. We'll see you guys in a minute. That's what we're looking for, guys. Sign that elk are... Sign that elk are in here hanging out in the fall. I mean, we can hunt this area. Uh, we did. I mean, I, I killed an elk straight up the hill from here, probably about four or five hundred yards up on a different patch of timber. But, uh... That's all it takes, is just knowing where they're at. In the winter time, then you find the sheds. Um, really not much more to it than just be in the area where there's sign and then do a lot of walking. It doesn't take any much more skill than that. You just gotta be able to walk. So anyone can do it. You guys can do it. Get out there, go find some sheds, guys. I love finding little openings, drainages that have little meadow areas like this. There's always a potential for sheds. Uh, tons of elk sign walking through here. And so you always uh, have the chance of getting lucky and finding something in here, but on the off chance you don't, you just got wet for nothing. But it happens, that's why you do it. You're out here. Trying to find them. Wouldn't call it shed hunting if it wasn't hard. So, yep, just still looking around, haven't found anything yet, haven't heard anything from Jake about finding anything. He just says he's stumbling in some really good area that we should hunt this year. Oh man, that is thick. Like soup. Anyways, I'm gonna make my way across here and uh, find something. It's been about 20 minutes since I found this set. Uh, haven't found anything yet. Just came out in this beautiful little meadowed area. I wanted to give a little tip to you guys for uh, trail cameras. A lot of people get trail cameras stolen, so you guys come out in a big old nice meadow like this. Well, then you're going to want to put a trail camera out, right? Well, stop and think before you put one up. You're probably gonna put one up on that one tree right in the dead center of it. That way you get most of the action. You will, but if you found this um, this meadow, the chances of someone else finding it are very likely. You're not the only hunter in the woods. So instead of putting it on the tree that's in the center, look around, maybe you can find a stump to put it on, logs, another tree on the edge, something, it may not get you as much uh, on your uh, trail camera have made pictures but it'll at least keep your trail camera safe from people taking it because we've had 
several handfuls of trail cameras stolen in the past. One of them in a situation like this where we put it up on a tree dead center of the meadow and it got stolen. So just a little tip for you guys that do do trail cameras. I encourage it. It helps out a lot. But be careful. Don't put it in obvious places and it won't get stolen. That's all I got for that. Hope you guys appreciate it. All right guys, got some good news. Came across this creek right here, was looking at all the elk bones in it. Elk bones everywhere in here. Um, coming up this draw. Sorry for the close up of my face. Coming up through here and saw it instantly. I knew exactly what it was. Right there, a little fork and horn black tail shed. Thick old boy. Probably won't find the other side. Just doesn't happen like that. But there he is. This little fella. But he's something that's three sheds for the day so far. 2020 is going good. This area is going good. I've never, we, like we said, we've never shed hunted this area before. Uh, we just hunted it. Actually, most of our life we've hunted it. So really pumped about this. But yeah, so I'll take some pictures and then uh, we'll do a little pickup for you guys. All right, guys. So here's the pickup of the little guy. Probably like five years old, been here a little while. Just a little rink-a-dink tanker. But he'll add to the pile fine. I love adding my black toe pile. Even if they're just little guys. Take them every day of the week. I love black tail sheds. All right, let's go find some more. Yep, guys. You know what that is. That's a moldy oldie. Ancient elk shed. I'm not, I don't even know. Ugh. That thing's old. It's been here a minute. Too bad we couldn't find it brown. It looks like a five. Um, Maybe it's a four, but Dick's gonna be up here in a second. He wanted to see it. I gotta take pictures of it still, but that thing is ancient and it's gonna stay out here unless Jake wants to pack it out, but we know he's desperate for anything right now. Anyways, it's right there. We'll take some pictures of it real fast and then uh, We'll do the pickup for you guys and leave it out here for one of you guys to find. Yeah, come get it. Come get it. All right, guys. Here's the pickup. Oh man, that thing is ancient. Yeah, little four point. I don't know what's up with the single eye guards around here, but they've definitely been around for a while. And this is staying out here. Look how old that is. Disgusting. Totally you and me. Yeah. Um, we might have hunted this bull about 18 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll leave him out here. He doesn't stand a chance to go back with us. I ain't taking him. Um, we'll leave him right here leaned up against uh, this tree for you guys. Just like that. Alright. Let's get to find us some more. Maybe Jake will find something. See ya. So it's been about... 15, 20 minutes, maybe more like 15, 10, since uh, I found that nasty old elk shed. <clears throat> and we, uh, or I, ran across what looked like a doe and a shed buck. Um, sorry, I didn't get no footage of them. They were moving pretty quick, and then, then they had me pinned down. I wanted to get a look at what they were, and it looked like a doe and a shed buck. And so I'm hoping the shed buck shed somewhere in here. So we'd have a nice brown set of deer sheds to show off. Haven't found it yet, but still hope. I mean, deer sheds can be tiny and hard to find, so there's always hope. But we've covered a lot of ground. I think uh, Jake's getting a little board and so we might be heading out soon but it's been a good day found quite a few i'm happy it's a good start to 2020 man it feels weird to say 2020 2020 and uh yeah so hopefully uh 
I find something else before I start making my way up to him. I think he's sitting close to the road. But yeah, I will get back at you if I find something else. Just want to do a little update on what we haven't found yet. And uh, yeah, well, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to do. So, see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, calling it quits. Jake didn't end up finding anything. He's on the road now. Heading back to the truck. Say so he's looking for a road shed. And I am making my way up to him right now. So, yeah, we didn't find anything else. But hopefully I find something on the way up there. And if not, that's okay, because it was a good day. Really good day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, like, subscribe, and comment. Really appreciate it. And uh, keep on shed hunting. See you guys later.